everyone, welcome back to my channel. T today I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my lips and eyes pics for 2014. I'm sorry this is kinda late, but anywho, I'm still really, really excited to share with you guys all my pics for lips and eyes. And I'm sorry about my voice. As usual, I'm suffering from an allergy. I'm still waiting, you know, for my um, doctor's appointment. So yeah, um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Let's start off with the eyes. And first, I'm going to share with you guys an eyeshadow primer that I discovered from the drugstore. And this is from Milani. This is their eyeshadow primer and this retails um, for about $7 at CVS and maybe cheaper at Walmart and Target. But this is such a really nice eyeshadow primer, you guys. Um, it does a fantastic job. I have an oily lids and this makes my eyeshadow last all day. It doesn't crease, it doesn't fade. This is such a really nice product from the drugstore. It comes with this squeezy tube packaging. It's basically a... Um, skin tone color. I don't know if you can tell but this is just a really nice product from the drugstore And by the way guys if you heard a lot of banging and noise um, It's just because my little boy is right there. So excuse me for that The next eyeshadow primer that I discovered last year is from Lorac. Um, this is their behind the scene eyeshadow primer As you can see I'm actually running out of it. This is actually the one that I use every single time before I apply my eyeshadow So this is a phenomenal eyeshadow primer if you have you know um an oily lids or very oily lids you definitely need to try this you will literally you know make your eyelids dry and this will make sure eyeshadow last all day it will not crease i promise you this is just a fantastic product speaking of an eyeshadow i'm going to start off with the one that i use as a base and these are from jordana this is their 12 hour made to last eyeshadow pencil and here i have three shades to share with you guys um this one is their continuous almond which is in number 04 and this is basically you know a skin tone color and there is the swatch right there I love to use this you know um, on my waterline this is just a long lasting one I have a watery eyes this one stays on my waterline all day long. The next one that I have here is um, Eternal White which is basically a white um, eyeshadow pencil and this one I love to use as an eyeshadow base on my colorful eyeshadows. This will you know make your eyeshadows pop and looks more vibrant so absolutely love this. The last one that I have is in the shade Tenacious Brown which is this um, really creamy chocolate brown color and these are very long lasting um they are very very pigmented once they set on your lids they will not budge they will not crease they will stay put throughout the day i absolutely love this um i have an oily lids and i don't have any problem um of this creasing on my lids this is just a phenomenal product these are very affordable you can get them at kmart and walgreens um i believe i got them for only like three dollars this is um, just my absolute favorite eyeshadow bases that I discovered last year. Um, I actually prefer this more than the um, NYX um, Jumbo Eye Pencil. I really, really recommend you guys this Jordana 12 Hour Made to Last Eyeshadow Pencils. They are amazing. Just moving to eyeshadows, I have three palettes that I wanted to share with you guys. These are the palettes that I used a lot last year. These are just an amazing palettes. And first off is my Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I just love this palette, you guys. The scent, I love. Um, the color selection is really Really right up in my alley and you know me I love my neutrals this is just my go-to you know palette I love you know using salted caramel right here as a transition color a uh, marzipan which is really pretty all over the lid or in the inner corner of my eye also love this white chocolate right here to highlight my brow bone as well as the um, champagne truffle so this is just a really um, lovely palette this is one of my favorite palette of all time I'm definitely you know gonna be getting the second one because they just recently came out with the um semi-sweet palette so i love my chocolate bar palette next is i have my laura pro palette this palette is so much raped here in youtube i absolutely understand because you know this is such a really versatile palette already have you know mattes um shadows at the top and shimmers at the bottom and you can create a lot of eye makeup look with this palette you can create you know those dark smoky eyes and your everyday eye makeup look so this is just a really really nice palette last palette that i really really love and enjoy and discovered last year is my it cosmetics naturally pretty um volume one matte lux transforming eyeshadow palette and that is what the packaging looks like and 
Here are the colors. These shadows are amazing. If you have trouble um, blending, this will do the job for you. I absolutely love this. This is really, you know, easy to work with. The shadows are very pigmented and yet they are very blendable. I absolutely love this. They are just, you know, one of my favorite palettes to grab, you know, in conjunction with other palettes. These colors right here are just my favorite, you know, transition colors. This one is my favorite um, color to highlight my brow bone and these three right here at the top are really nice you know to create depth and dimension on your eye makeup. So this is just a really pretty palette. I got this at Ulta and um, you can also get this at QVC and yeah so these three right here are just my you know favorite palette last year and for sure I will continue to use this this year. Moving on to eyeliners you already know guys that I have a watery eyes because of my allergy. First off that I wanted to share with you guys is the one that I used to um, tight line and this is from Jordana and this is their 12 hour made to last liquid eyeliner pencil and this one is in number 01 black point and that is what it looks like and here is the swatch as you can see it is very pigmented it's very black and it's really creamy it glides on the skin really smoothly this will not you know tag your eyes um, if ever you wanted to use as you know to line your upper lash line this one I love to use to tight line my upper waterline um, this you know doesn't transfer on my lower waterline which is pretty nice and this stays up there and this doesn't smudge this doesn't you know bleed or you know run onto the inner corner of my eye this is just really nice you guys and they're very affordable as well and then the other one that I love to use on my waterline is from um, Rimmel and this is their scandalized waterproof cold control eyeliner and this one is in nude this particular shade is perfect for that waterline to make your eyes more brighter and awake it's such a nice you know skin tone color um, I love this uh, to use rather than white next two that I have here is the one that I love to use um, to create a wing liner you all know guys that I love my wing liner my eye makeup is not complete without my wing liner and the one that I have here is from the drugstore and this one is from Physicians Formula. I actually tried so many eyeliners from the drugstore, but this one right here is the one, you know, that really stood out to me. It comes with this felt tip applicator that really helps you, you know, to create a very thin or a thick line and create that perfect, you know, flick at the end. I recommend you guys getting the ultra black, um, rather the black one, because the black one is leaning towards a grayish one rather than black so if you are guys planning to get this get the ultra black one so yeah is the one that i recently discovered and this is from stila and this is their stay all day waterproof liquid eyeliner and this is also a you know felt tip liner that you know will helps you to create a thick or thin line the only downside about this is that it has a glossy finish i actually prefer more you know matte finishes but if this will you know stays on my upper lash line without fading this is a must have for me because you know me, my eyes waters a lot because of this allergy so I just you know can't complain about that finish. And then the last one eyeliner that I wanted to talk about is none other than my Essence Gel Eyeliner. I already mentioned this so many times before in my previous favorites videos. This is just my holy grail gel eyeliner you guys. This one is Midnight in Paris and as you can see I already um, used a lot out of it. This is just my all time favorite gel eyeliner. Um, this is really you no know, black as night really long lasting very creamy um the only thing is that if you are you know not um used to a very creamy gel liner you're gonna be you know having a hard time to apply this but once you get you know the hang out of it this is such a really nice you know um gel eyeliner and i highly highly recommend this to you guys moving on to mascaras i only have a couple of here to share with you guys but the first one is this clinique bottom lash mascara i have heard so many great things about this so that is why i decided you know to try this one one um, early last year around this springtime I believe this just you know blows me out of the water I have a very thin short lashes you guys and you know having a mascara one that is really big is a no-no for my lower lashes so I'm really really happy that I discovered this because it just comes you know with this teeny tiny brush that perfects you know to apply that um, mascara on your lower lashes this just 
gives my lashes length and volume and, and this stays on my lashes it doesn't flakes it's just long lasting I don't have any problem of this smearing this is just my holy grail mascara for my lower lashes I absolutely love this so happy that I discovered this last year and the next is the one that you know I got from a swap last year um, during the springtime I believe and this one is the fashion 21 double up mascara and at first, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't like it. Um, the first time that I tried it on my upper lashes, I don't understand what the hype is all about because so many Filipinas, you know, rave about this, but I don't know, maybe it's just me. It doesn't give, you know, length to my lashes and this does not hold my curls at all. So I have a very short, you know, droopy lashes. So I need, you know, a mascara that will hold my curls and at length to my lashes but this one doesn't do that so you know i decided you know to put it back inside my drawer then i decided to pull it back again and i use it on my lower lashes i absolutely love how this works on my lower lashes um this doesn't work on my upper lashes but on my lower lashes it works amazing it comes with this rubberized um wand and this just you know really coats my lower lashes really nice it gives volume and length to my lower lashes i absolutely love this for that are my favorite lashes that i discovered last year and these are from red cherries i absolutely love red cherry lashes they are very affordable i got them at my local beauty supply for like a dollar 99 each and i absolutely love these lashes you guys they are 100 percent human lashes they are very lightweight you don't even feel you know that you're wearing lashes at all um, my favorite um, pair is the number 747 small and this lashes right here is just you know the perfect natural looking lashes for me I absolutely love this and I'm actually wearing one today which is in number 523 and I don't know if you can tell but this one is a little bit you know dramatic pretty long but I absolutely love how um, these lashes works on my um, small eyes um, they are very lightweight I hate you know lashes that are very heavy on the eyes I just you know can't do those lashes so those are for my lashes Next, this is my favorite thing that I discovered you know or favorite product that I discovered last year and that is my lash glue and this is the Kiss I can't talk and this is the kiss strip lash adhesive um, it says here that this holds for 24 hour it is clear and it also says that this one is odor free latex free and waterproof and all the things that it claims are true this is absolutely a waterproof one have a really watery eyes and I don't have a problem you know my lashes or my falsies um what is this Peeling off on the um, outer part of my eye. I don't have any problem of that. I have been, you know, sneezing a lot. But this one, you know, keeps my lashes stays in place. This is just a phenomenal product. I highly recommend this to you guys. And I also love that it comes with this um, silicone applicator. It's pretty convenient for you guys, you know, to apply your lash glue on your lash band. So yeah, moving on to the brows, I have a couple of products to share with you guys that I discovered last year. And these are from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is the um, Anastasia Deep Brow Pomade. And here I have the shade Soft Brown. And that is what I have on my brows today. This is just you know a life-changing product this totally changed the game when it comes to my brows spent like 30 minutes um doing my brows before i discovered this but now i can you know literally do my brows for like three minutes with this product you only need the teeny tiny amount of this product this is very very long lasting you can definitely rely on this product and I absolutely love this. This is definitely you know worth the price. I got this at Ulta for eighteen dollars. I'm pretty sure that this will last me for a while because I only need you know the teeny tiny amount of this. And the next is the one that I love to use to set my brows, and this is also from Anastasia, and this is their clear brow gel. This makes my brows you know set and you know stays in place. If you have you know stubborn eyebrows, you definitely need to check this out. I absolutely love this. I'm definitely gonna be buying the full size of this. Because I have three concealers to share with you guys first is from the drugstore and this is from NYX this is their HD um 
Photogenic Concealer. I absolutely love this concealer. This is definitely one of my favorite concealer from the drugstore. I love the doe foot applicator. The consistency is very creamy. It is very easy to blend. Um, it doesn't settle on my fine lines. It looks really natural. This cover up my dark under eye area pretty well. It is such a really nice, you know, creamy formula. I absolutely love this. This doesn't crease underneath my eyes. It has a nice coverage. This also photographs really well. And this is actually, you know, my third tube. This is really affordable. I absolutely love this. You can get this at any drugstore and also at Ulta Cares. This they always have, you know, a $3.50 um, off when you purchase, you know, $10 or more. This is definitely one of my staple product for my kit. Next is another concealer from the drugstore. Um, you can only get this at Target and this is from Sonia Cashew. This is just my Holy Grail concealer. Um, I love that it comes with three different shades of concealer. It has this greenish color right here. It's really nice to counteract those redness um, around your nose and if you have, you know, um, zits or pimples, this is such a really nice, you know, um, concealer for that. And this peachy 70 shade right here is perfect for my under eye area. Um, this really, you know, do the job to really um, cover up those darkness underneath my eyes. I absolutely love this and this um, light shade right here is perfect, you know, if you want, you know, to highlight this um, part of your under eye area. So, absolutely love this and it also comes with this setting powder which is pretty nice. This is such a really pigmented one. This is actually, you know, my second one of this um, quad and this, you know, really do the job. It also makes your under eyes looks brighter and you looks more awake and the consistency of these concealers are very creamy. They are very pigmented but they don't crease it's such a perfect one to travel with especially it already comes with three different shades of concealer and a setting powder and next is I only have you know one higher end concealer and this one is the one that you know I grab especially if I know I'm going to have a long day if I have you know a special occasion to attend this is the one that I always grab because I know that I can rely on this product and this is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and this one is in the shade NC30. I absolutely love this. This one has a full coverage and definitely you know cover your pimples, your acne scarring and all that you know nasty stuff. It's very um, long wearing. Absolutely love this. Um, the only downside about this is the pump because it dispenses so much product but other than that I highly recommend this to you guys. You know my favorite you know higher end concealer if not my favorite. So those are for my eye products and then moving on to the lip ones. I'm gonna start off with the one that I discovered, you know, for my um, lip treatment or for my lip care. So first is my Elf Lip Scrub. I just, you know, recently discovered it um, late last year, but I am absolutely in love with it. It definitely, you know, works, especially I always have a dry lips and it's pretty nice, you know, to use a lip scrub um, before applying your matte lipsticks to make your matte lipstick looks more, you know, nice so that you don't have, you know, crack lips. So I'm absolutely loving this um, Elf um, Lip Exfoliator and this is basically comes with this um, lipstick tube and excuse mine, I know it looks gonky and dirty. Actually, you know, using this every single night before I go to bed and before I apply my lip balm, this definitely works. This is only $3. You can get this at Target, Walmart, and Walgreens and also at Elf website. So check this out, you guys. I know you can also use um, honey and sugar to exfoliate your lips but this will come in handy especially if you're going to travel just you know also perfect for that so the next lip product that i discovered last year is my um vaseline um lip therapy and this just you know replace my holy grail lip balm to be honest with you guys this really moisturizes my lips it seals in the moisture on my lips especially on the color months i always always do have you know a dry lips but this one really you know helps my dry lips this really you know moisturize my lips this one is in creme brulee i also have the one in rosy lips and cocoa butter so next that i wanted to mention is my jordana twistable lip crayons these are amazing you guys um this replaced my revlon you know um kissable balm stain these are half the price of the revlon balm stain personally i prefer this compared to the revlon ones because they are more affordable but you know they works the same if not better absolutely love this they are long wearing this will definitely stain your lips do give you know, a little bit of a shine on your lips they don't you know dry out my lips for 
being a bomb stain so yeah this is just one of my favorite you know um bomb stain from the drugstore i think they are just a fantastic product for being such an affordable one i heard so, that they came out with a couple of new shades so i'm definitely gonna be checking those out moving on i have a lipstick from the drugstore and this came out during the fall season i believe and these are the uh, Maybelline creamy matte lipsticks you know me i love my matte lipsticks and these are just really pigmented they are very creamy very lightweight on the lips they are very comfortable i just love maybelline color sensational lipsticks they are one of my favorite lipstick from the drugstore and the shades that i have here is um touch of spice which is one of my you know favorite i love this this is one you know of that kylie jenner lip color as you can see and then the other one that i also love is last for blush um this is such a really pretty muted um pink color so there is that my little boy is you know joining us right now so <laughs> say hi. hi and then next is mesmerizing magenta which is this really pretty magenta color these are just you know pretty pigmented i love the consistency of this matte lipsticks last one that i have is divine wine which is such a really pretty color for fall and winter you love uh, matte lipstick but you don't want that um, dry feeling on your lips check this out guys those are for my um drugstore lip products moving on to um a higher end brand here i have this bite beauty lip crayons and i actually got this during the holiday season these lip products from bite beauty are awesome i love the consistency the pigmentation this is also all natural ingredients so you can literally you know eat this but I'm not gonna do that so these are just one of my you know favorite discovery last year very comfortable on the lips they wear nice on the lips also gives your lips um a little bit of a sheen so those are the four you know swatches of this by beauty lip crayons love this i highly recommend you guys you know trying this bite beauty lip products they are amazing and last product that i wanted to mention to you guys is my nars audacious lipsticks i know they are quite expensive um but they are you know definitely worth the price i love the packaging you know it comes with this magnetic closure they are very pigmented they are very long wearing i'm actually wearing one today which is anna this is my favorite you know color absolutely love this i never have a color like this in my collection this is just you know in my opinion the perfect formulations that i want in a lipsticks highly recommend this i absolutely love this they are definitely you know worth checking out um i just you know can't say enough good things about this nars audacious lipsticks by the way the other shade that i have here is fanny which is this berry color so those so. are the two shades that I have. That's basically for my eyes and lips picks for 2014. So thank you so much guys for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And also don't forget to enter my giveaway. Give this video a big thumbs up. And leave your comment down below. As always, I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs>